My name is Maki from the Tactile Crew. We make Tactile, which is a software for live painting and animating. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration. Here you see uh, the projection we are creating. And we're doing this with several iPads connected into a multiplayer session. Tactile is about two things. It's about painting and animating. Here you see our virtual workspace and we all are connected together in the same workspace. I'm going to choose a place somewhere here. Uh, I'm going to add another painting to show you how, how this, the principle works. First step is painting. I'm going to make a head here. Looks like the head is behind the other drawings, so I'm going to just move it to the front. Now it's in the front. I'm going to make some, some evil eyes. Not so evil mouth. I'm going to make a little body. and the waving hand. So this is the painting part. As you can see what I'm doing here, you can uh, also see in the projection, it, it's uh, it all shown live. And now I switch to the animation mode. In the animation mode, you don't see the real colors of things. You, you see the things that you have selected, highlighted in yellow. And you can see I divided up my drawing into several parts. Now I grab the head and make it wobble. And because I press this record button here, you, you see that I, 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 I can make the movement repeat. Something happening here. Same with the hand. I'm going to make the hand wave. And it's going to nod like this with the head. So I group the guy. And now I have an alien, and I can make the alien jump around like this. And that's the basic principle. And like this, you can build up relatively complex scenes. And um, we use tactile for. Uh, interventions in public space, like uh, projections on buildings. We use it on stage, like, for example, improvisational theater scenarios. Also for commercial events or parties or festivals, where we create a spontaneous environment that always goes with the flow of the event that's happening. And uh, also, um, it's something that's very useful for education, because you can have several uh, students working together uh, and really really teaches them about collaboration, how, how to work together to create something that's bigger than the individual parts. And how powerful must your iPad or Android or is it only an I iOS app? R right. So right now, the first step is that we're going to release this app on the 16th of September for iPad. But Android will be following soon. It's already running on Android. We will release it relatively soon afterwards. And we recommend working with more recent hardware because as you can see, the options are limitless. You can create a lot of content very quickly. And uh, the, the, more, the, the, the faster your hardware, the more you will be able to do. But it also runs on all the iPads, like iPad 2. It's just that we don't recommend with it. So uh, it, is it the limit of animations or do you, how do you describe this limit This when you use an older iPad or a newer iPad? Where's yeah, the difference? It's, it's definitely the amount of content you can create. Like you, with old hardware you can create less layers, less animations and it will get slow. You will see the frame rate go down, especially when you use high resolution projections. And there is a possibility to export these animations, or how do you work there? Well, um, Tactool started off as a pure live tool, you know, so uh, it wasn't a focus to, to export the things. 
but you can export screenshots. And uh, also, we are working on an, an export feature where you can record video clips out of the iPad as okay. well. So because in iOS 11 now you can uh, record exactly. screens, yes. so it's possible. Yeah, exactly. It's one of the next things we're going to do. Okay. And um, you think it's a musical tool for making some visuals on your music? So it's an easy way to create m music visuals? Definitely. It's, I think it works especially well with musicians that work in an improvisational way. Like, uh, because we can really follow any type direction that the musicians take and they can follow our directions. So it's going to be like a two-way conversation. And um, how much will be this app cost on the I uh, iTunes Store? The free version that's going to come out on the 16th of September will, uh, is, is, a, is a, a basic version, but that's also very useful. You can all, already work seriously with it. Yeah. And if you like it and if you want to really get into it, then we re recommend getting the pro version, which will cost about 10, 10 euros. Okay, that's very fair. And there are some advanced features coming in next or? But yes. So, um, the, first of all, the difference between the free version and the basic version is in the, uh, on the pro version. The difference between the free version and the pro version is that in the pro version you can host multiplayer sessions like we do here with several iPads connected together. Okay. Also you have advanced brush controls where you can really like change the color on the fly and drawing becomes a little bit like a music instrument. Okay. And um, you can have unlimited sets of content so you can prepare your content for production and then have other sets of content for other productions. So okay. it's all things that the more serious tactile users are going to use. And in speaking of future features, we are working on a server version that works on Mac and Windows, uh, which is already functional as well. We have it running here in the server rack. And uh, that will expand the possibilities in a way that you can use multiple projections together as one virtual workspace. And uh, you can also have very high frame rates of like thousands of frames per second. Of so this opens the world to other musicians also who doesn't exactly. use a exactly. iPad or Android. Exactly. Okay. The idea is that uh, uh, Tactile is available f on, on any platform. That's and do you support the uh, Apple Pencil? Yes. Is it better now to use a pencil with it or how is the... It is depends it? on your style of working. Like personally, I still work a lot with the fingers because um, you know when you switch to animation mode then you're just grabbing the layers and you don't have a pen that you have to put aside. So if you use a lot of animation, if you have a very dynamic way of working in terms of animation, you probably don't need a pen necessarily. But if your background is more painterly and uh, you have a very uh, you know, established style of painting on paper or other digital software, then the pen is a great option because it makes, it's more painterly, more artistic. Okay. All right. So uh, I wish you good luck for the app and a good Ars Electronica. All right. Thank you. Thank you, you too.